Destination mark. Curious. Hey guys, how's it going? Marcelo here, and um, on November 11th, Nintendo is releasing a mini NES. Um, why? <laughs> Not so much that it's a bad thing or anything, I'm just a little confused. Um, it comes pre-packed with about 30 or so games, including the classics, Mario, Zelda, Castlevania, etc. And uh, it also includes an HDMI port, so it's kind of a modern NES. Um, <clears throat> I, I don't know. Um, I have, actually, a mini NES, if you guys didn't know. Um, very, very uh, rare to find right now because they're not even out yet. Um, it's totally not a mini NES. It's a, it's a Retron, the first kind. Um, it functions exactly like an NES. It, you know, uh, the only thing about it is that like when you put a, a cartridge in, you have to like really kind of stick it in there. That way, don't take that out of the context. Don't be dirty. Um, <laughs> where um, it's a little hard to like jiggle it, you know. So like, it's really weird. Uh, but it's got you know, it's um, it's things right there, and then you know, uh, they come with it comes with its own controllers, but they're really weird. So uh, as it turns out, classic NES controllers can can work with this, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, um, so my question is, why are they releasing a mini NES, and how is it going to work in terms of, like, why are they doing it? That's my question. There, I, I see no real reason to do this, because they've already pushed all the classic games down our throats for, like, the longest time now with Mario, straight up with Mario Maker. Uh, the NES Remix games, which, you know, put some neat little minigame-esque twists on those games. Um, you have the eShop, so you can actually download the games. You have the masterpieces on in Super Smash Brothers, so you can play some of your know, little demos of those games. Um, why bring out a mini? Why bring back you know temporarily the the NES uh, if you buy it and it's got 30 or so you know pre-installed games or just installed games and. Uh, I don't really get it, because I just want to know about the NX, I just want more info from the NX, man. Um, it seems that every time we think we're going to get some NX stuff or get some whatever stuff, they do something completely different that has nothing to do with it. Like, I was really hoping, you know, I was like, give me NX stuff, and then they go ahead and put like a bunch of weird licensed <laughs> costumes into Mario Maker, like Baby Metal and Shaun the Sheep and all that. Then I'm like, let's hear NX stuff at a... Uh, E3, and, and they don't do it at all. And then I'm like, how about NX stuff now? Maybe after E3? Pokemon Go. <laughs> now I'm like, maybe they'll do some NX stuff now, or maybe sometime soon. I mean, we're a little a little more than halfway throughout the year at this point. Uh, we get the mini NES <laughs> coming out later this year. Um, pretty close-ish, too, to the release date of the NX, which is March of next year. And we still don't know a damn thing about it, and that's what's pissing me off, because I feel like they're not taking the NX too seriously. Now, now, now there's keeping it under wraps, and it's incredible how long they've managed to keep the console under wraps, seeing as literally all their fucking games and all these other things are either getting memefied or getting freaking uh, uh, leaked, you know? So, I mean, they haven't had the best luck with getting their shit not leaked. And I'm surprised the NX hasn't, there's been fake leaks like, oh, this is what the controller looks like, and it's totally like not what the controller looks like, because they made it as a 3D model, you know? So, I mean, uh, I don't know. I just want to hear more about the NX, because for the longest time, for the last 10 or 11 damn years, Nintendo has been defined as the Wii, and Wii U, and Miis, and Miiverse, and Tomo and me this, and we you that, and it's like, that's fine, I guess, it's just that you're not really innovating much more with your whole formula here, I mean, you're just releasing another game with Miis, and then a mobile game with Miis, like, I, I do have me Tomo, I don't know why, because it's pretty much just, um, a, uh, smartphone, iPhone version of, uh, Tomodachi life, so I don't really know, but it doesn't seem like they're trying, like they're really 
unless they're working their asses off and we just need to keep waiting, it's just that you think they like to tease us here and there in the same way of, I mean, even fucking Microsoft was like, we have, they opened their show at E3 with, we've got the One S, and then they ended it with Project Scorpio, which was like, okay, but, um, Sony's plan going into E3 was to not really talk about hardware and, you know, all that stuff, and just to talk games, and that's what they did, and that was pretty cool. They're gonna wait, uh, since they're not too ready yet, to really tell us about, um, uh, the PS Neo. So, fine, okay, so if you at least tell us that you're not ready yet, and you kind of tease us a little bit of, you know, well, this is what it can do, this is where it is, this is where we are with it, but we're not gonna show it off just yet, that's more info than we've gotten for that console than we've gotten for the Wii U. I mean, for the NX. So, I mean, not that they have to tell us or like they're obliged or obligated to like tell us your secrets. I mean, no. But I don't think they're taking it too seriously. I mean, so I, I was not saying earlier, they're be, they've been defined for like 10 or 11 years as Wii's and Mii's and Wii U's and all that. So like, we want something different. We want the next thing, right? Well, now we're finally getting it because they're gonna start deviating away from all that, but we haven't heard a damn thing about what's going to, what this, you know, uh, renovation of a console is. Like, what's it going to do different? Or how is it going to function different? Will it be, what will it be like? I mean, I don't even know, what the fuck is it called? What does it look like? E3 would have been the best place. They would have, they would have probably won E3 for a lot of the die-hard Nintendo fans and just a lot of other gaming fans in general if they had shown it off. That was one of my expect. Nintendo didn't meet any of my expectations. Not that my expectations have to be met, but I mean like they didn't really. As just a fan and a gamer of being like, I'm looking forward to Nintendo's uh, con treehouse. I can't even say conference. You know. Um, what are they gonna do? I really hope they reveal a bunch of cool games, and I hope that they reveal the NX finally. None of that. <laughs> Just none of that. So, I mean, I have no idea what their thought process is right now, and I don't really see a whole lot of reason to buy this console, this new, uh, mini NES that has 30 installed games on it already. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Um, what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments. Uh, I just want NX information already, man. Hopefully, if they have like a Nintendo Direct coming up near Christmas time or something, or to launch the new year, uh, maybe then I'll be like, oh, okay, now they're gonna finally start talking about it before it comes out. But I mean, I kind of wish they would start doing that sooner, so that way they can really tease us and really get us hyped for it. I'm, I'm kind of losing my hype, unfortunately, and ironically, and sadly for this because I want to see what their next best thing is after we after we you and being defined as that for so long I want to see what else they they've got in store and they're not giving jack shit the only thing they've given is two things one uh, Zelda's coming out for NX as launch title number two uh, developers are already making games for it trying to get a hold of the technology and and the software and whatever else but that's really it I mean there's been nothing f for the longest time since they and now they were doing this back in like, what, 2013, 2014 or something like that? Okay, probably like 2014, I think. I don't even remember. But, point being, we haven't heard jack shit official besides those two points. Um, and we've heard, like, about their patents for, like, the clickable scroll wheel, uh, shoulder buttons, and the fact that... And then there's rumors of maybe it's a handheld console or whatever. Um... And then we've also heard info of like uh, their their controller is just like one big screen in the front or something. I mean, I don't really know at this point. I just you know, I try not to listen to that. I just want to hear straight from Nintendo themselves. Uh, what can we look forward to for this console? Because I feel like they're copping us out here with like you, we've got the NX in the background, but I mean here's Pokemon Go. Here's nothing but Zelda and like a few other announcements here and there at E3. Here's um, Sean the Sheep. <laughs> I still find that just a weird one in Mario Maker. Um, here's a mini NES. We can add that to our um, our <laughs> list now. I mean, I don't, I don't know what they're thinking. Um, again, I don't think this is necessarily bad. I just don't understand it. I don't think it should be done 
at all. So you guys, there's many, many alternatives. You don't have to have a big, another reason why I have my, um, uh, Retron is because uh, I held this up in the thumbnail, but it has a crack. It doesn't play. It fucking came like this. I tried to play Mario Bros. 3 on this, and it's the screen glitched completely. But not because of the game, because of this. Freaking stupid male people. Anyway, um, <laughs> you don't need that at, in this day and age unless you still have it, which is cool. That's, of course, really cool because you know I'm a retro gamer. But you don't have to have in this day and age an NES or a mini NES <laughs> to, um, and the cartridges to play those old games. Now you're gonna need them to play, like, really obscure-ass games, but to play the classics and all of those, uh, you've got so many other alternatives. Why make, remake this console for this? If it's only, if it's only 30, number one, if it's only 30 of, like, the best games, no doubt a lot of those will probably be, you know, kind of tied into Smash Brothers with, with those characters and their games being on this, you know, mini NES. I just don't understand it. I mean, one of the things that came to my head when I first heard this in, uh, news because it's morning right now and like I just woke up not too long ago and I heard about this stuff and I was like, what? Um, this reminded me uh, right off the bat of the mini Wii. Uh, it's not the same thing though because the mini Wii is a redesigned smaller version of the Wii uh, and it's a picture right here. And it's still, uh, it does everything a Wii does. It still plays its games, it still does all that. There's nothing pre whatever installed on it. It's just a mini Wii. I didn't get why they, I guess this is just a slim version of the Wii. I don't understand it. But, um, this isn't like that. This is just the fact that there's games already pre installed onto the console. I, I don't get it. <laughs> Help me understand. Why are they doing this? And again, it's not so much as bad, I just find it as unnecessary because they've already pressed these games onto us already with the alternatives that I described earlier. So, I mean, there's kind of no reason to do it. <laughs> Give us an accent for already, damn it! <laughs> That's what I'm waiting for. If they did like a Nintendo, I don't know if I said this already, but if they did like a Nintendo Direct come uh, Christmas or come like, you know, January of 2017, then and they revealed shit there, then it'd be like, okay, you know, I guess we had to wait just longer for info, but we're getting it right before release. Um, but I, if they played it really smart and really wanted to get us hyped for it, the ones that are just not the fans that you know just gravitate towards everything. I don't want to say anything like. Like fanboys, I mean, I hate using that term, but it's not so much like that. It's just the ones that are always like, Nintendo, yes, Nintendo, yes, Nintendo, yes. Like, I think they'll be satisfied whenever it comes out. It can come out 2025 for it, all I know, the NX, and they'll be ready for it. Um, but for those who, like, want just a little more meat to the bones, uh, I really wish they would have, you know, given us more info, slowly, of course, not just, again, hit us with everything and spill their secrets. Of course, they're not going to do that, but, like, if they really, um, played it, you know, slow and played it safe and did, you know, release a little bit of info here and there, I think it would have helped them a little better to get the hype from us, the fans, uh, really going. Because as much as it's going to be a more innovative console, that's really cool, I'm hyped for that. But my hype's starting to slowly go down because they haven't really said anything else besides that, and the release date is coming pretty close already, you know, we don't we only have, what, like five more months or so of, of this year, and then another three months, so a total of eight until, um, it comes out, but we don't know anything about it yet, so I mean, I don't know, I really want more info on that and not a mini NES, so what do you guys think, let me know in the comments below, I'm Marcelo, I'll see you guys later. Take care.